tired of Yoshi getting impressed. Those mac and cheese go crazy. Also, I hope y'all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Miles already coming right out of the gate. Down throw to up B. And immediately gets it. That's so easy for him to get the Pikmin off him. Here come the combos. He foresights right through it, and the damage starts. The damage racks up. Off stage he is. Puts in a pirate. Yeah, this is. Ooh, wonderful recovery from Swigzy, but he cannot get off the ledge and safely. Throwing back in the disadvantage. Now he's in the corner versus Pirate. Not somewhere you want to be. Down there, back air. Wonderful conversion. And that is a very dead small space person. I can't say, well, I guess I can say space man because like he's a man, but he's not a human. So it's like, I, I, I don't know. All right, combo starting up. With the down to him from there. Not a juggle situation this year. Thank you so much. Miles is continuing to outbox Swigzy, and he's, Swigzy's not really, it's, hard, it's really hard time for Swigzy to get some damage in. Smiles has like all these fast and safe disjoints with Mithra, so it's like he kind of just like he gets in a certain range, and then boom, press the big green button, and you lose your stock apparently, because Miles is just like unsafe. And Swigzy said up smash, was hit behind him for some oh, reason. I can't believe that Miles just lost this game. I know, right? He got, got up smashed at zero, that's, that's the sign that somebody's <laughs> about to get absolutely <laughs> destroyed. Swigzy almost like, and Miles almost ended Swigzy's life too, pulling up that. So Salty might have just spoken this into existence, I'm not going to lie. You might have spoken it into existence. I am cursed with the gift of prophecy. <laughs> it's what I say all the time. Yep. Oh my god, what, what are you doing, Sweet? I don't know if that up smash was just the hardest read ever. It, you're, you're Solomar, dude! It was Is he dead? Oh my god, dead. god, he exploded. He actually exploded. <laughs> Very Man, rough. It sucks that when you get hit by that, you know, at death percent, you you have to contemplate so much while you while you know you're already dead. Exactly. Why'd I get hit? It's like, how, how did I get hit? Did this, is this supposed to happen like this? Who's screaming? Okay, I don't care. Um, anyways, oh my goodness. Oh my god. The juggle situation, keep it going. He managed to get down, but for how much longer? Oh my god, he's gonna set her to the skies. Never mind. That was. Do you see how quickly he got that purple out in order to actually. He said, to Miles is there just swinging the sword around like a fencer, and then Sweden said, Yo, watch this. I'm gonna read the rainbow real quick. These hitbox uh, from I just want to find out oh. that Miles is also extending these hitboxes because he's hitting the Pikmin as he's getting thrown at them. At the same time, sometimes when you extend the hitbox, it's actually exactly what Olimar wants. Really? Because there's extra hit lag, meaning uh -huh. that he can position himself even better against you. That's definitely a thing that Olimar players will do. I believe it. Oh, he has no Pikmin! No, he doesn't. He just has the one purple. Oh, that's two purple. This two is actually super, super scary. Oh, oh that's kind of pressed the button, button and yeah. he's dead. Goodbye. You Sayonara. fool. Don't you know that pushing buttons is the fastest way to die? Why would you push buttons against Pyra? Look at her. <laughs> Raising that big old sword into your face saying, what you trying to do? Die? We can do that. We can make it happen. Look how smug Miles looks. <laughs> Sitting away with a purple do-rag on. Shout out Stir. Then I, I see the drag and I think, who else wears the drag? Watch this. Star. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Now we're getting into game two here. Oh, this is, this this alt is actually should be banned. This costume. Why is the Petunia costume banned? Well, it should it should be banned. No. Uh, because people with very small brains will then not be able to tell the difference between the two uh, characters. See the one with long hair. And okay. then you see the one with short hair. Okay, but that requires a lot of brain power. You see? Uh, now you see. There, listen, you're being very insensitive to those of us who, uh, <laughs> who are really bad at those, like, you remember those highlights, spot the difference yes. games? Those. <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, I feel like I can spot a difference of a woman who was moving at light speed and then a brick with legs. <laughs> Oh, you see, man. right now I see this is the light speed, the light speed electric yeah. scooter coming there at There comes you. the brick, though. The brick with legs definitely hits more like a truck. Um, and listen, buddy, you ever <laughs> gotten hit by bricks? Br I hope no, it I ain't no picnic to. either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get hit by one. <laughs> oh. well, Kyra might show Swigzy what it's like to get hit with one. Oh my. Oh, he's taking so much damage. That I didn't can't. matter. It didn't matter. It, it kind of did, though. Like, I mean, he's at 119 like, right now. A lot of percent is on the board. Yeah. I think that Sweetie, once he gets the chance, 
He's, he would want to start farming for a purple, you know? But I love the idea of swapping Bro, back to Py oh, sorry, to Mithra, just not give him the chance. Absolutely. I feel like, uh, I feel like Twiggy's going to air dodge, but instead he just said, screw air dodging. He's going to fly up there. The delay is landing a little bit longer. Ooh, the blue is... There's the purple. Ooh, and he's still alive? How? Excuse me? Wonderful recovery from Miles. Purple coming out, still not killing. It's still not. I think it's a little bit staled. No way. How much? So much this is scary. damage this already. This is scary. Okay. Forde will do it, sending him straight to the blast zone. But now Mithra's out to play. Yeah. And oh my gosh. That shield is getting tiny. Oh dear. That's a punish. That was so good. Such good spacing from Swigzy. The thing is, right now, how do they get even? They're even, it's, dude. It's uh, the Olimar advantage save. The Olimar vortex, I want to call it. You get jabbed and grabbed, and then just you jump, and then the back there comes out. But this is not a <gasps> dead Olimar. He did great wow. DI from Swigzy. That was so close to being it, and that would have been massive for Miles. All right, let's see what he's going to be able to do with this lead. He's actually going to be staying as Pyra here. Very interesting. I think maybe he just wants that extra weight to help him out a little bit. That's definitely the big play. And also, you want to, like, use all this rage of Pyra to get as much damage off as possible. Because, you know, Pyra, if you can take the spot, the stock with Pyra at this percent, that's great. But it's like, you better just wait until, like, you know, you have zero Mithra, no rage, so you can just... Oh, the recovery, recovery is also another advantage, but the thing is that Mithra is Mithra's better at getting off the ledge just because her airspeed is better. Like, Pyra, if she goes for that double jump back on, which is what uh, Miles just tried to go for, it takes her so long to get there. Sweet, he was able to punish it. I'm telling you, man, Brick with legs. Yeah, Brick is, Brick's not known for their airspeed. <laughs> <laughs> at least not without help. Not without help, yeah, but Pyra does not have that help. She just has two legs and fire. Oh, dear. Not a back air, not an up air. Oh dear. Oh man, all of this damage right now. That's a getting him off of, uh, get Miles getting him off of him right there, there was so important. And now, oh my god, you're taking so much damage Twice. from this blue Pikmin. And that yeah, he got him above him, but still no, no, like, chase for Miles. Hard to chase as Pyra. He got the parry, but not actually able to do anything. I cannot believe it. And we got the little pop up from Swigzy. What the heck? What the actual heck, bro? Do you hear Gatsby? Go, Yoshi. <laughs> Gatsby's screen. Hold on, wait. Miles always picks some music and bangers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, tech and music. You gotta pick the, the Yoda Link song. Did he pick the Yoda Link song? No, he didn't. He picked the one called. Mother Karma. goddamn. It. I'm happy he didn't pick the Yoda Link song. Are you kidding me? The <laughs> Yoda Link song is. Honestly, uh, we should ban all other stages. <laughs> no. Except for the ones that can play Yoda Link. That does actually include the, the Kazuma, the, the uh, Nishima Dojo. Oh, uh, no. Uh, just that we can only have the yodeling song on no, Soul Track. See, listen. Now I post you Kits, which is like the funky beat, the beat song from Tekken 4. That one. Put that over to you. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of damage. I love the fact that they hit each other an equal amount of times. Miles is at 70 and Swigzy was at like 20. Isn't, isn't that the game we're playing? That's, that's kind of like the matchup. Oh, actually, good thing that the upbeat killed uh, the white while that was happening. Otherwise, that would have been a lot of extra damage on Miles. He's going for these dashes. Right. He needs to relax. Uh, can he counterpick Yoshi for his last two stocks? Uh, you know, just substitute real quick. Because <laughs> uh, I think that's kind of what he needs to know. Oh, no. This is looking very rough. He's actually sticking. Oh, I was about to say he's sticking. There we go. That hit leg helped him out. Extended that forward there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Miles needs to re I feel like Swigzy is definitely catching on to how Miles is aggressing, like forcing his way in with these dash attacks. That was a very ballsy F smash. Yeah, Swigzy's defensive play is really working out for him. It's where he's getting almost all of his uh, his openings. It's a, and it's also it's defense when he's, you know, getting comboed. It's also defense on the stage when he just knows that Miles is trying to turn up this pressure. And kind of, Miles doesn't need to right now, you know what I mean? He has this lead. He can maybe hang back a little bit more and play to it. But no, he just wants to 
go in, keep you that see, pressure mounting. I agree with what you're saying, but it's, I feel like, you know, putting pressure on Olimar is definitely the best way to prevent him from winning, I guess you could say. Because Olimar, Olimar, if you try to play a long range game with him, you lose. You don't you don't win. Or the mid range game, I'd say. Oh my god. Yeah, and right there, the extra hit lag from having to kill the Pikmin on that is what let that up smash come out. Jesus Christ, that was way too much damage. <gasps> how did that miss? How did he not get punished? How? I need answers. How did that? How did that near miss him? That should not have hit. Or not have missed. There we go. Up air, caught him, on like a, caught him like a sitting duck. Now opt in to go Mithra here instead of Fyra. All right, a little bit of chip damage right there. Back, Finally, yep, really getting uh, getting that hit in. Very important. We now have a last stock between these two. Game three. Both of them are honestly playing really well right now, but. The question is whether Miles can keep the same sort of oh, momentum that he has been showing. Oh dear goodness gracious, rolls it into the up air. Miles is trying to murder this man. Oh, he, no Pikmin out, he caught him while he's pulling. Yeah, that was it. The fact he had no Pikmin. He actually got the parry, but with no Pikmin, he couldn't get a punish. Then he got pushed to the corner. He had to pull the Pikmin right there. It had just been too he long of him without it.